Hello everybody! Today I'm going to teach you how to use Canopy, which is a streaming platform for movies, documentaries, and instructional videos. You can access Canopy with a Boston Public Library e-card, which is something that you're eligible for if you either live or work in Massachusetts. So today I'm going to show you some of the features of Canopy, and then I will teach you how to sign up for Canopy if you're interested. So the best thing about Canopy is that it's all on demand, which means that there are no waiting lists for any of the titles that you see. You can either stream it in your browser, so say on your computer or on a tablet, or you can cast to a smart TV if you have the technology for that. There is a great help section for Canopy at the bottom of the home page. So right now I'm just scrolling down through the content on the home page to show you that. There is a lot of content, so it does take a couple of seconds to get down to the bottom there. So as we can see on the bottom, it says available on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, etc. If you click on any of these device names, it will give you more information for using Canopy with that device. Or you can click the support button, which was on the lower right hand corner here, and that will redirect you to the Canopy help site, which has um, specific articles for using Canopy with different devices, and it also has information about your account and using the website. So any technical questions that you have regarding Canopy, a good place to start is the support section down at the bottom here. So the way that Canopy works is you have eight credits per month, eight play credits that you can use, uh, one credit per film. So say tonight I watch two films on Canopy, then it will say six in the upper right hand corner. Your play credits reset on the first of each month and they do not roll over. So say I watch eight movies this week, then on July 1st I will get eight more play credits. There are two exceptions to the play credit rule, and that is the kids collection and the great courses collection. So you can watch as many kids videos on Canopy as you'd like and as many great courses as you'd like. There is no limit. To go to the kids section, you'll just go to Canopy Kids on the top here. There are movies and uh, TV shows. Uh, for example, there's PBS programming on here. And there's also um, animated storybooks. So you might see some of your favorite picture books on here, like Corduroy. And they have animated those and narrated those, and they are very fun to watch. If you want to exit Canopy Kits, we'll just go up to the top here, bring us back to the home page. And I'm just going to show you the Great Courses collection. You can search for that in the search bar and then scroll down to where it says Suppliers Great Courses. Um, this way you will get to the entire Great Courses collection, which if you look on the right hand side is over 6,000 videos. So there is a lot of Great Courses material on Canopy. You can browse different categories, or if you scroll down, you will get to a menu on the left-hand side. If you click on subjects, you can specify more specifically if you are looking to learn about a particular subject. So you can watch as many of these as you'd like per month. So I'm going to bring us back to the Canopy homepage. Um, they update the homepage frequently. There's always really cool um, categories that they have um, curated for you. Or you can use the Browse tab on top. If you hover over any of the categories, you'll get even more categories. So for example, for movies, we could look at world cinema or classic cinema or drama, and that will redirect us accordingly. If you want to learn more about a movie, you can just click on the cover and we can click show more. If you scroll down, you can even get to a section where you can read reviews from other Canopy users and you can add your own thoughts as well. So if you like to kind of have a conversation or you like to give your opinion, that can be a fun feature to use on Canopy. 
Uh, if you want to, you can click my list and that will add the video to a watch list if you're kind of trying to keep track of what you want to watch at some point. You'll find that on the upper right hand corner. You'll go to my watch list and then you can see everything from there. So I want to bring your attention to one point. As soon as you press play on a video, that will count as one of your eight credits. So it doesn't matter if you only watch one, one minute, five minutes of a movie. As soon as you click play, it will count. So you want to make sure that you're using those play credits on things that you do want to watch. Once you click play, you will have 72 hours to watch a movie, and you can watch it as many times as you'd like during that 72 hour period. So now that we've explored Canopy, I'm going to show you how to access it from the Boston Public Library website, which is bpl.org. The first thing you'll need is an e-card. So if you have not signed up for a BPL e-card, you'll go to Services, e-cards on the left-hand side. Once you get to that page, you'll click on this teal button that says Register or Renew an e-card, and it will walk you through the process step-by-step. -step. If you already have an e-card, you can go to the Books and More menu on Boston Public Library and go to Movies and TV. From there, we can see Canopy is one of the first options, and if you click anywhere on the screen here on Canopy, you'll be redirected to the Boston Public Library sign-in page. You'll be prompted to add your library card. It will look something like this, and I just want to remind you that this is your Boston Public Library card number, and then you'll have a four-digit PIN that is associated with your Boston Public Library card. Once you add your library card, you can create an account with your email address and any password that you'd like, and then you will have your own personal sign-in that will bring you to a homepage that looks something like this. So I hope that this has uh, opened your imagination to other things that you can do with a BPL e-card. Um, Canopy, again, is all on-demand streaming of movies, documentaries, and instructional videos. And you can access this at any time from your home. If you have any questions, just email us at the Milne Public Library and we will do our best to help you out. So I hope this has been fun for you and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye.